Korea's Kia Motors is making its hardest run yet at the top of the market with the 2015 K900. Marketed as laid back and affordable large car luxury, it has to do battle with segment leaders as well as its own public brand perception as an economy car maker. And if this sounds familiar, it's because Kia was here before with the somewhat smaller cadenza last year. But the K900 has a lot more going for it. As a sister to the rear-drive Hyundai Equus, although much better looking, the K900 shares a similar 5-liter V8 rated here at 420 horsepower. While not outrageously powerful, it delivers a healthy grunt when you really get on the gas. Steering feel continues to be an issue for this platform, and considering the K900's near 120-inch wheelbase, it doesn't exactly navigate corners with confidence. But the ride quality is plush as are most interior materials. Legroom all around is downright impressive, made even better by the reclining rear seats in the optional VIP package. Paying $60,000 for a Kia might sound a little insane. Paying $60,000 for luxury on par with a Mercedes S-Class or a BMW 7 Series might also sound a little insane, but this K900 is kind of the best of both worlds. You get comfort, luxury, technology, and it's at a relatively affordable price. Still paying 60 G's for a Kia may be a hard pill to swallow, but then is paying $15,000 more for the prestige of a BMW or Benz any smarter? And word is a K900 V6 comes later with a mid-50s price. Still, you have to admire Kia's guts and their K900.